All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Hey, what's up, everyone? Do you ever record something to a pre-programmed drum loop or something and then it's not the exact right tempo and you feel like you have to play it all over again? Well, you don't. There's a feature in Cubase called Musical Mode and you can find it in the info line and I'll show you how to make your life a lot easier by using it. So let's just jump into Cubase now and do this. So 60 beats per second is pretty slow for this. So let's say we wanted to make it uh, 80. That seems like it'll be more realistic. Well, we have to have our info line up right here. So you hit, to get to that by hitting Control I, or I think you can go to settings. Oh wait, no, where is it? Where is it? This one, and info line. Now, if we uh, if we just switch it to eighty, the drums are going to be out of time. So. So we'll go back to sixty where everything's in time, and what I'll do is switch these to musical mode. Boom, bada boom, boom. Bada boom. And now when we switch tempos, uh, the audio will also follow the MIDI. So we'll switch this to 80. And all of a sudden we have. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. And that sounds a little bit more appropriate for the tempo. Now, uh, I would just say I would do this sooner than later. You don't want to be musical moding all of your things. And typically, I will do it with scratch tracks. When I'm using pre-programmed dr drum loops or something, and just to get the feel of a song and the tempo, and I'll record a scratch just to get the uh, the architecture of the song, the changes, the arrangement down. And then I want to change the tempo after the fact, but keep my drums in place. Well, I'll switch my scratches to musical mode, and then I'll redo them. That's typically how I like to work. I don't know how you like to work may be different. And just realize that you can't really stretch this to absurdity. So it was at 60. If we double it, you'll start to hear some uh, artifacts. Or if we make it like 140, it'll be super fast. Let's try this. So the harder you stretch it, the more it's going to sound obvious. And I definitely would use this more as a compositional effect uh, just to get your bearings straight le and less as an effect that you would use in the final project. Now, just to show you real quick something else you can do from the info line just because it's funny. Um, we'll go back to 80 because 80 sounded reasonable. And you can actually transpose from the line. So let's say we, we did that song in G, but I think it should have been an F. We'll transpose this down too. Make sure we take all of our audio and transpose it down too. And now it'll be an F and let's listen to how it sounds. What if we went down five? So I think that it handles the guitar a little bit better than it handles the vocal, but you can actually transpose from the info line as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. Just a real quick tip. If you do your scratch tracks and you don't like the tempo that you set it at, you don't necessarily have to redo your scratch tracks. You can use musical mode as long as it's within the bounds of reason. If you were recording at 180 and you feel like it should be 185, that's more than a perfect application for it. If you were recording at 180 and you think it should be 100, that's going to stretch the limitations and abilities of musical mode. But just a quick tip for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it useful, please feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.